Get ready. I'll do my best. Seems about right. Sorry. Get ready! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! like a type of bomb. Kind of a weird color, don't you think? Ah, wasn't this in Kakona's book? Yeah, I guess I do remember seeing it. Good job noticing. That was back when Kakona was looking for the Ishtar Mountains. Watch out, guys! Here they come! Save the story for later. If its body starts to expand, then it's dangerous, right? Yeah, so all of you better be careful, all right? Yeah! Hang in there! 
Here's a stone monument. This should be it. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Sewell. Thank you, Mel. You're incredible, Mel. Your magic is amazing. I'm really happy you're part of our group. Yeah, well, I guess that maybe she's kind of useful. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Excellent. Our friendship is proceeding apace. I am one step closer to realizing my ultimate goal. <laughs> uh, um, no? Don't take her seriously, kid. Just, just ignore her. Anyway, isn't it about time to do your thing? Uh, okay. Rene, Rene, Mark Arsu Sonam! Cloister of Time, open! Get off! God damn it! Look, lady, you try any more of that pervy crap and you're out on your ass! But I'm no pervert! This is all in the name of science! I do this for the good, good, good of mankind! It's my hobby! I'm so sad. Now get off! You aren't fooling anyone! If you want to stick around, then no more trying to take our clothes off! And no more analysis. Got it? Okay. Well, they do say if you can't beat them, join them. I guess I join them. Good. A promise made under duress is no promise at all. Did you say something? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing at all. I never say anything. Anyway, thank you, both of you. Now we have the fifth gem. Thank you very much. Let's head back to the inn. Ready, guys? Oh, you're gonna regret this! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
feel it? Madness! All right! Even in hell, money makes the best lawyer. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Let's go! Oh, you're gonna regret it! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Come on, little lady. You're saying you're too good to talk to me or so something? <laughs> Come on. Let's just play around a bit. <laughs> there, sweetheart. We'll show you how to drink and how to... <laughs> how to play. <laughs> Keep your hands off me, creep. Now listen good. The only man who can touch me, Tenon Elliot, is my future husband. Got it? Hey, don't be like that. <laughs> Gosh, why is it that everywhere I go I have to run into idiots like these? Idiots? What the hell, lady? We try to treat you nice, and this is the thanks we get? It's time someone brought you down a peg, and I think that someone is us. You don't get it, do you? I'm not gonna waste my time on stupid old bastards like you. Just leave me alone. Bye. You biatch? Looks like we don't got no choice. We're gonna have to be a little rough on you. Mr. Sure? I know. We gotta help her. Hey, you all right, lady? You see? Good always wins. Now you know. Oh, were you planning to help me out? That's very nice of you. But I can take care of myself, thanks. Later.
strong girl. Cute and strong. Tanan Elliot. Elliot? Oh my gosh. Is she the daughter of the Elsa Ray family? Man, she was pretty strong, wasn't she? Yes. I was surprised. Oh well, guess we should go back to the inn. Elliot. Elsa Ray. So, how many more gems do we need to gather? We need two more. Have you heard of the Forest of Doubt? Yeah, but who hasn't? It? It's pretty famous. It's east of Terram Cave, I think. Forest of Doubt? Uh, yes, yes. I wouldn't be surprised at all if there were a few magical goodies still undiscovered there. I confess surprise that you've heard of the Forest of Doubt, Sophie. You know quite a bit for a child. Yes, yes, very clever, very observant. Why, when you get to be as old as I am. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You can't be that much older than she... No, wait, that's not what I meant to say. Still insisting on following us, huh? Of course. Why wouldn't I? My mission is to seek out new things and old, mysterious civilizations. I think your little, uh, treasure hunt here dovetails nicely with that. We will be friends forever and ever. <laughs> Best friends till death do we part. <laughs> you don't take a hint, do you? So ridiculous. Oh, don't get upset. You know how they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you. Yes? Oh, don't give me that crap. You ever hear of free will, self-determination? Destiny's a load of bull. <laughs> Sophie, stop grinning and say something. Are you sure you're okay with getting this crazy broad involved? We're not involving anyone. They're drawn to you as a... No won't be the last one either. There will be others. Many more people will find their way to you. Pulled by destiny. Our clock will begin to tick away the moments once again. Mr. Sewell, such are the stars you were born under. Stars? What are you talking about, kid? <laughs> well, boss says it's okay. It's not really my place to say no, is it? We got a lot to do tomorrow, so let's rest now, while we've got a chance. I can't sleep. Too much on my mind, I guess. Maybe a little fresh air will clear my head. Hello, Mr. Soul. What are you doing up so late? Same to you, kid. What's up? Isn't it time for kids to be in bed? I couldn't sleep. Um, do you want to come to my room and talk for a bit? Sure. Why not? Mr. Sewell, Alto looks really pretty tonight. Yeah, I guess it does. When you look up at Alto, do you ever feel kind of... nostalgic? Yeah, I do. Only sometimes, though. Really? Yeah, reminds me of looking at the night sky back when I was a kid. When you were a kid? <laughs> Something wrong? No, Alto's light is so bright tonight, you can barely see the stars. <laughs> stars, huh? Oh yeah, you were spouting some weird stuff earlier. Something about being born under the stars, or destiny, or some such. Everyone is born into this world with a specific destiny. You, Melrose, and myself, all of us are here for a purpose. Yeah, that's just about what I thought you'd say. Can't say I really believe in any of that destiny. You should. It believes in you. It's just how things work, Mr. Sewell. Our stories are written in the stars when we're born. We all have a per... Like hell! Mr. Sewell? What about all the lives that burned out before they got a chance to live up to whatever they were supposed to be? What about all the people who died before they even knew what their purpose was? Mr. Sewell... <sighs> Sorry, it's not your fault. It wasn't right of me to take it out on you. No, that's not what I meant. I'm going to bed. Don't stay up too late, okay, kid? <sighs> I still can't accept it. That stuff you said about purpose. <clears throat> I had one, you know. Once. It's 
screwed it up pretty good. But hey, story of my life, you know? Mr. Fool, 